What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in the car, back bringing you guys another video. Today we about to head to the outlets. We about to tr go to, we about to essentially go to Tampa, Florida. So we're gonna go, we're gonna hit up Wesley Chapel and hopefully I have some enough time. We're gonna hit up uh, Ellington. I think it's called Ellington. Ellington, Edenton, nevertheless, is the second outlet in Tampa, Florida. Yo, I got dressed, I had to run some errands. In the mix of running my errands, man, it got chilly. So uh, I had to call an audible and I had to pull on this little short sleeve sweater. Florida gets cold, but not too cold. It's not warm enough for some shorts, which I do have some jeans. I had all purpose of rocking these Air Max, hence the reason why it was in the car. I had my slippers on, but right now I had to change up the plan man i want to give these shoes some playing time but not today man i had to throw on a little thicker sweater just because it was a little breezy outside but anyways man enough of the rambling let me get the driving and bring you guys these outlets all right follow me yo don't i always do it with my right hand while i do it? follow me So the Nike outlet is behind me, about to go inside and see what's popping. It's about 1 o'clock p.m. on a Wednesday. I hate doing I hate doing a timestamp on the videos because when I post it late, you guys let me know, man. So, but anyways, today's Wednesday. Hopefully I can get this video out later in the evening. So this is the first spot we can go to. Hope we can go to a different spot after this. I hope the audio is good. It's kind of windy outside right now, so let's wrap it up right here and let's go inside. And it's kind of chilly. It, man. It's kind of windy out here. Hence the reason why I changed my outfit. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. She's healthy, dude. Okay. I do got the red joints to these right here. These are hitting for like $70 plus 30% off. Kicks. Easy. Dude, I don't see much at all. This is the hash wall. Do got the LeBron S14 though. The Monarchs. A whole bunch of pleats. These are extended size. So happens everywhere. Kobe's. Thanks. LeBron size 11. Oh, he's got a price on here. 140. More Kobe's. And dunks. Check the aisles out. These basketball joints for 90 beans. I do like this for a basketball shoe. All black joints, 70 beans. Not bad for 130, but still, I wish it was under 100. Paul George, 90 beans, PG ones. Again, these should drop significantly through the fact that PG twos are at 120. For these joints, so yo, anyone feeling these? My the 75 beans. Your joint jump man pro quick, all black. More KDs on the hash wall. These are hitting for 65 dollars. These joints are the frags, bro. For 60 beans, the leather on here is pretty good too. But you guys got this. If you guys are interested, they're here for 60 beans. Multiple sizes. Biggest I've seen size 13, size 12. Be into Air Force One high mids. I guess these are the utilities joints. I don't know. 100 beans. You got the gray joint as well, 109. You got this green joint, 100. Far past me though. And then you got this tan. Fellow ways, you guys can tell. It's the runner section. The miscellaneous that most people don't care for. But if you do, I got you. What is this right here? Oh, the dial tone racer. I like this colorway. Six five dollars. Not bad. Rocher runs. This is all one piece, one clip. Actually, fifty dollars. Set for sixty five. More Air Max, but not the Air Max that we will care for though. Yo, these joints are hitting for fifty dollars. Yo, at this price, will you guys cop? I think it's an ice shoe. Fifty dollars for Jordan Two. Deconstruct. It's not clunky. It's not bulky. It's slim down. You got the slim fast version. I would jump on it, but they don't got my size. Even the black joint is 50 beans. That's a pretty good price. This is a size 11. I might just try this one on. I know most of you guys don't feel all black shoes, but 
Looks just actually clean to me. Short hair, new buck. Deconstruct too. Pretty dope in my opinion. Well, at that price it is. Baby beans. I'm good fun. Still got these for 100. I seen them cheaper somewhere else though. So right now we in Adidas. Looking at some shell toes, all black joints, eighty dollars. You got the trail right here, and that gray joint, the maroon. It's like the heather gray. And you got the off white uncaged joint. Oh, the camera picks up better now. I think they're retail. Uh, we know these are women joints. I feel like this colorway. This is like golden black maroon, and the heather gray. Yeah, retail. Look at the prices behind. Two hundred for that joint. I think this makes for a good ball and shoe. I still haven't gotten a pair of 2017 Crazy Explosive. I like this colorway. And you got the hardened joints up here. Retail for 90. These were for 100. Buy one, get the second one 50% off. That's for the basketball shoes. You got these joints right here. Not a fan. All right. Yo, this is crazy to boost. I think they're here for retail though. But, but it looks like it makes for a good basketball shoe. So we just finished the first outlet, which is at Wesley Chapel. Now we in Edenton, which is like 45, 50 miles, let's say an hour. It's an hour away. I haven't been to this outlet in a minute. Now this outlet is where I copped those Jordan 1s last year for $34 each, those yin and yang. I don't know what I'm gonna see in here, but we're gonna keep it moving, all right? Follow me. Hi, Hey, yeah. how you doing? Oh, rip, you see got some LeBrons for $85. You also got these LeBron lows for 60 beans, horrible. 31s, all black. 100 beans, not bad. Biggest size I see is 13. And you got these Jordan 1s with the strap, these nylon joints. Yo, but they had these, maybe. You got the wing logo. You got these versatile hard pass and these joints right here as well. This is not a bad deal. All red joints, $50. You got these joints. You got the zoom and the four foot, 65 beans. Look like an imitation Kobe though. And you got these fly knit joints, 2017. Same price for these blue joints. Paul George with the black and yellow face of colorway, 90 beans. Like I said, you're gonna see a lot of these on sale due to the fact that the twos are out. Here's the other one, we use the tens, all black joints. I like them. Thick rope laces, all black. I actually like these KDs. And you got this colorway. I think we saw this, the one with the Golden State. Yep, the one with the fly knit joint. Not bad. And finally, the witness, far pass on these. You got the orange skating ray once, 175 though. Air Force One Utilities, 150. Then you got the gray joints right here, 109. Tan colorway. Got these slice joints. Oh yeah, these bona fides, bro. <laughs> we cannot sell these joints for anything. Haven't seen this colorway. I actually like it though. Now, this is my favorite colorway in the jewels though, man. This North Carolina color. Also like the, the translucent gun bottom, but that swoosh check. The other one here is the par. Yo. These Hirachis don't look that bad, man. For 80 beans. I need to do these fly knit races. $100. Pretty dope. And you got all the other generic stuff that nobody likes. But these look pretty dope, too. These Rochi 2s, fly knit V2s, 60 beans. Not bad price. And you got like the high top version. Fly knit V2s. These look big. Definitely hooping these. They're like a hooping shoe. 160 beans, though. Size 13. Yeah. This is a good price. $39. Size 14. 60 beans for these. I actually like this colorway, $65. I think I recorded this in the last video. All white Air Force One lows. And you got the duck boots. Hitting for 70 beans. A lot of different ones. It's not bad. Jordan 6s. 6 by 60 beans. 31s. This is not a bad price. $44 for these uh, Space Jam Jordan 31s. Oh, you got some KDs as well. Five and a half. Ah, $39. I told you guys, man, a year ago I copped these pairs for $34 for men. Now they're hitting for $40 for youth. This is like four and a half, multiple sizes. Part of the yin and yang pack. All black pack. You got the radio, man. You got the black joints too as well. Y'all thought these was the gym red ones. 
but far from it, man. This is still youth. You got the pink joints right here. If you're into Jordan 1s in your youth, you got a ton of them here. And then you got this elephant print one, which hard pass for me. Don't like the adult size. Definitely won't like my kids either. Crazy how the youth is 80 beans, but $10 more gets you adult size. And then you got the KD ones right here too. $55. I mean, sorry if the lighting is getting horrible, but I gotta keep adjusting it. And the LeBron's 80 beans. Yo, I think we're in women's now, yo. I like this shoe, $65. What is this, man? Nike City Loop, pretty dope. Give you a run through real quick. You've seen this in all the outlets I've been to, 40 beans. Um, they're readily available, man. So hopefully by the time I start offering the service, you guys can cop or he can cop or she, whoever asked me for that shoe. <sighs> what is this? 90 beans. I gotta keep adjusting, man. I gotta keep adjusting. Now this Bazaix, man. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about Bazaix, man, but I was never a big fan. $110 though, if you enjoy them. So I'm leaving the Nike outlet, which is behind me. It was pretty different than the previous outlets I've been to though. So I have to admit, but we about to go to Adidas and see what's popping. So Adidas was a bust as well, man. But I think they got a Foot Locker or Finish Line in here. So we're gonna stop there real quick and see what's popping. So apparently it was Finish Line that they have in here. More than likely is gonna be uh, retail shoes off back. This is Adidas wall right here. I saw these shoes earlier. These basketball shoes, feels good in hand though. What is this? It's like the basketball wall. Yeah, it's the basketball wall, Kyrie, Hyper Dunk. Air Force One, Air Force One lows. Pretty much this is all they got for days. We do got the chutneys up there. What is this? It sounds like a sneaker project. Yo, this is crazy. Hard pass, put these back on the shelf. <laughs> but yeah, they got the altitudes, 13s, and the chutney, 13 lows. That's pretty much it. Nothing else. The generic six, the spiz die. Yo, man, it is a wrap for this outlet. So we buy, leave. Ellington head back to the crib. I do got unboxing if this video is not long enough I will include that in this video. Sorry that video ended so abruptly. I don't know if I should apologize But I had to I couldn't stomach editing this video no more. I shot that video on Wednesday I was editing it that Wednesday night and I said I'll continue Thursday Which is today as I was editing the video everything sucks in my personal opinion from the lighting the audio everything was not on point it was just horrible that's probably gotta be the worst outlet video i have done since i've been doing youtube i don't know how you guys perceive it but there was some times where i just throw i throw music in there just to cover up the audio i really didn't want to talk some audios was lower than others i raised the audio to the max i also try to hide and mask the audio by putting music over it i did everything i possibly could to save this video that's pretty much what you guys got if you guys stuck through and watched the whole entire video Salute to you, you guys are the number one MVPs for supporting me, but this video sucked. The content as far as what I saw there was dope. I just couldn't capture it because everything was going wrong from the lighting and the, it was just, it's just, it just, it's just a horrible experience uh, in post-production when I was editing this. I'm not the best editor. I know there's probably tricks that I can save a video. I also want to show you guys that even though I do these videos, nothing's on point. The content is king. In other words, what the content is inside the video is what you guys deserve to see. However, how I capture it is just an added incentive. It's just another layer to even make that content enjoyable. But I feel I did not deliver that. Hope you guys are able to stomach what you saw in the video. And like I said, the content was there. They had dope shoes, great prices, especially for the kids in the second outlet. You saw those um, Space Jam 31s. That was a great price, $44. Uh, the Jordan 1s for $39. All that was good pricing, man. And I just couldn't capture the moment. I just couldn't capture the audio. I just couldn't save this video. So that's why. Towards the end of this video, I also had an unboxing. Two of them, which I already shot and which I already put towards the end. But this video does not deserve me to put that unboxing towards the end. Sorry for the rambling. Thank you for your support if you made this far. Alright? Salute to y'all. See y'all in the next video. Peace.